Gamers, my name is KK and today we are beating the Blunarius. Because you are seeing these mushrooms, it means that the fat boy will be appearing soon. So, Ninja Kimi made a very weird pattern on the boss battles. I think they have a few weeks uh, of bosses in advance and they decided to cram two weeks of leech into one like they did the last time. So we had two bosses in the last week, and we have the third one this week, which is, I think, according to the schedule. Also, I wasn't able to post it immediately because I fucking worked, uh, real life and stuff, so sorry. And now I think we are gonna get back to schedule. So, uh, what are we doing? In order to beat the Blunaris on Moon Landing, you don't need much, but you need very meticulous farming, since we don't have the village Hence, we don't have the Opolis, which is a pretty big detriment, but we are gonna pivot and be able to withstand this challenge just fine. So, you begin with 3 dart into the 200 farm and the 000 tech shooter, our usual setup. Remember to repeat this post that I have for both tech shooter and the far donkey. Next step is gonna be to buy more and more farms. Uh, slowly but surely you wanna also upgrade your tech shooter into the tiers 002, but don't rush it. So as you can see I upgraded 001 after the, I think, first 200 the farm and I think we're gonna get the second tier on round 13, yep. All right, next up, we have two farms, round 14 and round 15. You might wanna use the level three ability of Ben, but do not align this ability by the Dark Monkey. Make sure that you use it whenever the balloons are in the good range for Tech Shooter specifically, because you don't care if Dart pops a few extra balloons, but Tech Shooter has much, much more tech, so it's way, way better for you. Place sniper after you place three to zero zero farms. It is important, and this time we're going to be using different farming strategy than usual. And this one is one of the best because, uh, on top of not having village, we also don't have the balloon trap. So engineer, and we don't have the uh, spike factory. Not that we need spike factory because we're not speed running, but still, it's rather annoying to not have all support except farms. So, uh, we ideally, you always want to go into the balloon trap because it's the most uh, cost efficient and it brings you the most amount of cash. But this time it's not an option. So, we're going to be using the second best strategy for the boss. So, we're going to sp be spamming 200s. Yes, you heard me right. 200 spam is the best early game strategy for farming. Um, no questions asked. So, uh, why is that? It's very simple. 200 is making you... I don't remember the exact numbers, I just remember the relations between the farms. So it makes you X amount of cash. Uh, if you upgrade to 300, it will make double that amount of cash, but the price for that upgrade costs more than for you to buy the new 200. So, uh, and the same w logic works with uh, 203, so just keep on spamming 200s and you will profit enormously. Uh, I, th I think we're gonna have close to 20 of these bo bad boys, I think by around 38 or so. And the way we profit from these farms in terms of selling them, uh, you always want to upgrade to zero two. It is important because uh, the bottom path tier two allows you to sell your farms for 15% more. So they sell for a lot because base selling value, I think is 80% in BDSIC. So you're sell selling them for 95% of the value, which is amazing. And these farms pay off, uh, pay themselves off very quickly. So right now we have 10 plus 5 plus 3. So 18 and 19, I think I'm gonna have 21 farms, which is amazing and it will generate a lot of cash for us. Okay, around 38 we have 21 farms. And now we upgrade not all of our farms, but I would say 8 to 10 farms onto the tiers 202. Next step, we, we sell our 202s on round 42 or so. Uh, we upgrade the tech zone, we buy the uh, bomb tower 204, another 204, I, I will upgrade it eventually. So, and at the end of the track, we buy 203. Uh, 
also by the alchemist for the tag zone by the alchemist for the bomb shooters in the middle and eventually upgrade your bomb shooter on top to the uh 204 but first you have some time before the Bonaris reaches the uh, tag zone so you are kind of vibing and you can upgrade a few farms before that so as you can see I had six three zero zeros before I even got the uh, the second bomb shooter you sell the second bomb shooter and you reinvest all the cash into the farms you also want to sell the tag zone and buy a few brs the money will be tight this time so make sure that you don't overspend on the defenses and try to always get as much money into the farms as you can because it will pay off eventually the way we upgrade BRFs, uh, you sell one of your tier 3 farms whenever you have 15k, so $15,000, you sell and you upgrade the Banana Central 4 to 0. It is very basic and very, very effective. Why are we doing this? Because uh, if you sell and buy this guy a bit earlier, you it's more than worth to get the BRF a bit earlier so that you can get the huge amount of money, which is 1500 that it produces per round and it will uh, pay for the loss that we got from the selling of the farm. For the tier 2, we're gonna use the Avatar of Wrath. This is, this is the, the strategy that I rarely use, but this time, since we don't have the good spot for the MAD, we're gonna have to use the AOE. So you buy the Avatar of Wrath by selling two of your BRFs, you buy five uh, tier 4 zero, zero, 004 Druids 4M and you re-buy two of your bomb shooters together with the third bomb shooter which will be the 204 and you buy a few more alks. You wanna 300 or 320 alk buff all of your bomb shooters on the map. And the AOE will deal with this uh, sucker no problem, and we are gonna be vibing. After that, hastily sell all of your important and expensive defenses, so Avatar of Wrath and all the Druids, and buy the BRFs. You must reinvest into the Eco, because we are gonna need a lot of it. Uh, Ideally, it would have been for us to buy the Banana Central by this time, but since we don't have enough cash, I think it's more worth to actually uh, buy as many BRFs as we can, and we will get to Banana Central by round 76. That's our goal. So we must get the Banana Central 5 to 0 by round 76, because on round 76, you get insta almost insta cash, and it gives you a lot of leverage in order so that you can upgrade other farms great um the way we get the banana central on this round you're gonna sell i think three brs or so and uh, depending on how much money you need to get the one hundred thousand dollar upgrade and you get it it is important i think i messed up it in this run but it is worth it and it's very very profitable for you also, if you want a monkey brain strategy, uh, you just uh, upgrade BRFs until the end of your time, but you will need eventually to get all tier 5s of the farms. Since we don't have the monkey opolis, which accounts for m pretty much half of our usual income on the uh, boss battles, you kind of want to make sure that you are doing the as efficient farming strategy as you can because this time we are not swimming in money to be honest we are gonna have uh, all the paragons that we can get but still this isn't the easiest boss all right next uh, we already got the banana central and we get uh, a few more brs keep buying the brfs before round 79 so uh seven, round 78 you can still keep buying them but do not buy them after that after round 79 you want to stockpile as much cash as you can so that you can afford the dartagon when you need it uh, it's gonna be pretty soon to be honest now we are buying the tier 5s of all the towers uh, for the dirt paragon so all the tier 5s and then we need 350k this was very stupid because i leaked random three ceramics so in order to prevent this we are buying heli downcraft and we lock it in place near the last cannon and now the same thing we are buying the tier 5s and we are preparing for the dirt paragon 
do not buy the tier 4s, just the two crossbow masters and the other tier 5s. Uh, we will sell a couple of BRFs for that, but do not be too hasty. And right now, roughly around 84. And now, prepare to quickly rebuy all of these. So make sure that you place 00 farms, uh, 000 in the same spot where you just sold the shit. And now, sell your Dark Paragon and quickly replace all of these farms and make sure all meanwhile this is all happening make sure you don't die so i bought the prince of darkness and you must buy a crap ton of, of farms now your goal is to fill all the map with the two four to zero brfs and to buy the rest of the tier fives for the farms. so it's the wall street and it is the uh bank tier five Make sure that you do not postpone them much because uh, tier 5s of the farms are worth it and they bring you a lot of cash. So I think I'm gonna buy the Wall Street rather soon and come on, where is my Wall Street? I guess I decided to go for the tier 4s first. Meh, it's still better to go for the tier 5s but whatever. Come on, where is my tier 5 farms? Will I just... Ah, no, 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 I think I know what I'm doing. Uh, because I will have to sell the farms, most likely. Uh, I will, um, for the tier 4, because I need the good paragon. Uh, I, I think I we will sell the part of the right, bottom right corner farms. And that's why we are putting the BRFs, because you lose less money on the less expensive upgrades. So selling tier 5s is the least... Uh, profitable for you. That's why. And I'm placing roughly 20 zero for zero Dark Monkeys just so that we can get the decent Paragon degree. But we're still, we're still not gonna get the degree 40, unfortunately. But it's better than nothing. So, uh, okay, around 98, and soon you will see the plan. Get ready to buy the Dark Paragon and for now, invest all the money that you have into the tier 4s. And yeah, as you can see, I sold all of my tier 4s. I got degree 40 uh, Dark Paragon, which is amazing. Uh, got very lucky here. And so we move our downcraft at the back so that we don't choke to the stupid stuff. And now, finally, I get the tier 5s. Yep, everything was planned, everything was calculated brilliantly. Next step, we bought both tier 4s. Fives uh, that we had remaining, and uh, we buy the rest of the four to zero farms on the rest of the map. Basically, now we are preparing to buy the boomerang paragon and the ninja paragon. Do not bother with degree, get the degree one, and they will be just fine. Just re remember that you must have the same spots of the paragons as I did in this map uh, because uh, these spots are just good. Next, you also want to get the debuffing. So we got the, the first sniper that we initially got like on round 13 or so. This sniper is now 502 on strong. We also get the 520 ice and we get 250 glue gunner, which is near the Prince of Darkness. Now, quickly sell all of your farms, buy the support temple. Do not buy the sun god just because we don't have enough cash for it. And now just spam the, uh, how are they called, the Dark Knights, so that you can uh, prevent all the random leaks that might get through. So two or three Dark Knights at the end will be more than enough to deal with all the leaked mobs and you are killing the boss, no problems. Alright guys, smash like or dislike, depending on what you think, and see ya in the next one. Tell me in the comments if this was hard or not.